this is David Floyd back at the Open Power Summit here in San Jose. And with me, I've got Albert Mu, who is uh, with uh, Taiyan Computers in Taiwan. So, welcome here. Okay, thank you very much for having me here. And uh, today you've uh, announced a, a new processor. Uh, can you tell us something about it, how it differs from the first one? And, uh, and okay. uh, uh, I think so. Yes, uh, I think the first one we developed and uh, also launched last year, basically it's a 2U machine. Uh, but uh, as we all know, I think in the data center, they are looking for the density. So I think so this year we announced a uh, uh, 1U machine with one socket, also 2U machine with two socket, uh, targeted for higher performance application. So those are two machines we introduced in this conference. This Great. Year. And I, I heard you put an awful lot of memory inside those machines. Is that right? What's the market that your customers are looking? What problems they're trying to solve? Okay, so I think so nowadays we know, I think it's so okay, so bigger memory footprint, uh, basically people want to put a lot of the application in the memory to do the analysis. So in our machine, I think so the standard we have is 32 DIMM. Means okay, with 32 gigabyte of uh, DRAM, you can totally have one terabyte of uh, uh, memory. So you can basically put a whole database, whole problem in the memory and then with uh, CPU can have a very fast access to any analysis you want. So we are really shooting for this type of application. One terabyte, yes. wow, uh, yeah. It's a bit different from the one K I started with, or you, I'm sure you did that many years ago, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what are your customers, what problems are they trying to solve with this, uh, this system? What, what, are they, what are they asking you for, and why, why are you using power uh, to solve these type of problems with your own uh, uh, with your own uh, input. Okay, uh, mainly for several area is a data anal analytic type of uh, application in memory analysis and also high performance computing. Those are the three area I think uh, most of our customer approach us uh, uh, request the, the power machine for. The right. Yeah. So, um, what's the uh, arrangement you have with uh, the, the CP1 machine? I've never heard of the CP1 machine. Can you tell us more about it and how you, uh, how you interface with that? Okay, I think uh, uh, IBM has a very smart strategy. I think it's okay uh, because uh, uh, if uh, IBM is the only company manufacturer the power processor, uh, still the only game in town. So IBM licensed uh, the power, archi power 8 architecture uh, to a company in China called the Power Core, China Power Core. Uh, they developed their homegrown uh, Power 8 processor. They call it CP1. Uh, I think CP1 stands for China Power 1. <laughs> Uh, power one. Yes. Okay. And uh, how do you interface with that? Uh, we uh, our machine uh, we develop uh, both are uh, compatible uh, with uh, both uh, CP1 and the Power 8 processor. So I think in China market, uh, if a customer really want the, their homegrown processor CP1, we install CP1. Uh, for uh, other territory, uh, if uh, they prefer the Power 8 processor, we install IBM Power 8 processor. Great. So we have uh, such a package. So you can use either of those two processes. Yeah. Very interesting strategy indeed. So where do you see uh, power going in the next few years? Well, what's your ambition? What are, what do you, what's your vision of where you see power, uh, the Open Power Foundation going, the Open Power products going for you uh, in, in your company? I think, okay, so of course, uh, uh, now IBM is talking about the Power 9. I think the Power 9, I think, so there, I think we expect several major improvement. Uh, probably IBM will drive uh, down the cost curve so you, they can touch the, uh, really the uh, volume market more. And uh, also on the performance wise, I think so, okay, uh, they probably uh, will add more uh, CAPI, the PCIe, those type of thing. Uh, so NVLink. NVLink, yeah. yeah. So we are pretty excited, I think, so, because uh, Open Power jumping in the middle of a Power A, because uh, IBM already have a Power A, and then they phone the Open Power. Now, Power 9, uh, I think, so Open Power can start working with IBM on the Power 9 from the beginning. Uh, so we can have uh, more innovation on system side, create a uh, more variety of machine uh, to serve more market needs. Great. Uh, well, thanks very much indeed, Albert. Thanks very much indeed. And uh, uh, over to you, and thanks for watching.